Hey guys, welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel where we cover all things crypto from the perspective of a miner. So today's video, yet another new release. This one from Gold Shell. This is the next KD Box, the KD Box 2. So we're going to go over the specs, going to go over what it looks like. We're going to compare it to the previous KD Box Pro and we'll compare it to the new things coming out. Why? We're going to look at the efficiency, we're going to look at profitability, and we're going to see how it compares how it stacks up and it's if it's going to be worth your time and your money guys um so if that sounds good to you stay tuned guys so let's get right to it so first off want to give a quick little shout out to a viewer call of duty dub zone who asked a question about the kd light right so i answered his question and then kind of did a little digging i was kind of curious if the prices had gone down with the kd light I was curious to see if they hit that like seven eight hundred dollar range so Decided to go on BT Miners, search for KDA Miner, and lo and behold, found a listing for the new KD Box 2, right? So this guy is going to come in at 5 terahash at 400 watts, okay? I would kind of ignore the price. The price is most likely just a placeholder. I wouldn't pay much attention to this. If that is the price, though, that's outrageous, but again, I think it's just a placeholder, because it hasn't been officially unveiled yet. Um, so yeah, so right off the bat, we see this big change is that it's now at 400 watts, right? The previous one was like 250, somewhere in that ballpark. So this is kind of following the trend of that CK Box 2, where it's now a little bit bigger, right? Um, so right off the bat, just quick math, doesn't look much better than the KD Box Pro. It's essentially almost like a two-in-one. Right, so it could be just two hash boards in there. If it's just one hash board, then that is kind of you know an increase in efficiency there. But let's uh, break it down. So try to do a little bit more digging, right? Try to look for like an official announcement. Nothing has been officially announced, but was able to kind of confirm it on Telegram. Got a similar leak, so seems like it's going to be consistent. Um, so went on Gold Shell's Twitter, see if there's any news of an announcement. Nothing there. Um, so went on Telegram. There's a couple, you know, channels I follow just to kind of keep up with news. And this is from When You Tech News Sharing, right? So they actually have a picture here. And again, this is kind of confirming it. 5 terahash, 400 watts. This one also lists the secondary power mode, which again is what the that Nervos Network one also had. This one's coming in at 3.5 terahash at 260 watts, right? So here, comparing it to the other one, it is, a, it is an upgrade. Looking at it, again, this is a rendering. I don't know if this is official from Gold Shell. I don't know where they got it from, but looks similar. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing as like the CK Box 2. Again, we noticed those two six pins, which is coincides with that 400 watt level. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, to me, that's confirmation of, again, hasn't been officially unveiled by Gold Shell. No release date, no prices, anything yet, but I'm assuming we're going to get that in the next couple of days. But for now, we can look to see if it's even going to be worth it right so let's look at that now so let's compare it to the KD box pro right so we go on here 2.6 tera hash 230 watts so it is it is an increase there not necessarily a whole lot but let's go right to the profitability so punching it in on crypto calc again the 5 tera hash 400 watts this is for a 10 cent kilowatt hour okay so your profit is coming in at 32 cents. Your overall yield is going to be about 1.46 Kadena. So right off the bat, not looking too great, right? So it is low power. Yes, you are yielding more, but this is a little bit concerning, especially this, because like we've mentioned in these other Kadena mining videos, it's going to drop a lot, right? We have these big miners that are coming up. Still haven't really come out yet, haven't affected the hash rate, but they are coming. They're coming. They all got delayed, though, so a little benefit for you guys. It got delayed, so we know that within the next three months, though, they should be coming out, and this is going to be hit hard. So we'll, the number we want to pay attention to is here is your yield, right? So like we've mentioned in the other videos, the bare minimum amount is going to change. I believe it's going to go at least to half, maybe more than that, but even ballparking it to half, right? It's gonna bring you at 0.75 Kadena. Kadena is currently at like 90 cents. 
So it's definitely, definitely not even going to cover your electricity costs at that point. Um, so again, that is pure speculation, but again, we've done the math. We know that at bare minimum, that's, that's what's going to happen, guys. It's going to come, right? So right off the bat, not looking great. Let's compare it now in the lower power mode, right? So again, the 3.5 terahash, 260 watts, 10 cent kilowatt hour. Profitability ain't looking too hot. And then same thing here, right? Cut that in half. Again, you're not going to break. You're not even going to make profit. It's going to be cheaper to just buy the coin at this point. At least right now, while we have this crappy price action, right? If we have a significant pump, it'll look better on the calculators. But again, you want to pay attention to the yield, right? That's what's going to change drastically here in the next few months. So unfortunately, though, guys, a lot of you guys <laughs> either aren't aware or you're not watching these videos. That's why they're out here. But uh, they are still selling, right? A little disappointed to see that uh, the CK Box 2 sold out, right? Again, it makes no sense to buy these right now. It makes more sense if you're interested in the project, buy the coin, right? We know what specifically with Nervos, Kadena, the hash rate is going to get hit super, super hard in these next few months. So again, to me, it does not make any sense to look at these things because the efficiency isn't there. If we got a bigger increase in efficiency, maybe, but this is not much better, right? So now let's compare it. Let's look at the efficiency, right? So let's break it down. Let's open up a calculator. Let's look at it. So let's punch it in. So it'll be, what, 400 watts divided by the five. So this is the easy one. It's 80 watts per terahash, right? So keep that number in mind, 80 watts per terahash. Now let's compare it to the KD Box Pro. Let's go over here. This is the current one. So now let's break this guy down. So it'll be 230 watts divided by the 2.6. So this is 88 watts per terahash. So it is a little upgrade, right? About 10%. That's not the kind of upgrade we're looking for, though. For us to really be competitive with the next gen stuff, we need something significant. Right, again, 10% is better than nothing, but in order to compete with Bitmain or even the Ivy Link, this is nowhere near close. All right, so keep those numbers in mind. Let's look at some older tech. Let's look at the KD Lite, right? So let's punch this into the calculator. We'll do the 1330 watts divided by 16.2, and it's at 82 watts per terahash, right? So again, it's all in the same ballpark it's all between 5 to 10%, not really worth your time. The reason being is that we were mentioning the KA3, but this is not even factoring this guy. So let's look at the efficiency of this guy, the IB Link, the BMK3, which is currently shipping, should be shipping now, I believe. Um, so let's go over it real quick. We know that overall this one was better, but let's compare it. So this guy is coming in at 3,300 watts divided by the 70. And this is where we see a better upgrade, right? So now we're at 47 watts per terahash. So this guy is twice as efficient as any of these guys, right? So 10%, yes, that was an upgrade from the KD Box Pro to that. But comparing it with this guy, that's this is a more significant upgrade, right? But then the even bigger issue is the one that's going to mess everybody up, right? Which is the KA3. And this guy, let's look at it. So let's punch in the 3154, 3154 watts divided by the 166 tera hash. And this is the crazy part. It is 19 watts per tera hash. So comparing it to the gold shell stuff, which is closer to the 80 watts per tera hash, we could see that there's a it's four times as efficient, guys. That's This is where the problem is, is that this Bitmain and even the IB Link, the IB Link is halfway there, right? But even this guy is still twice as efficient, more than twice as efficient as that Ivy Link. But the bigger issue is, is the, the efficiency compared to that gold shell, right? Another huge thing to factor in is density, right? So this new guy is what? Five tera hash, right? This guy is 166 tera hash, guys. So let's do that quick little calculation. 166 tera hash divided by 
you would need 33 of these damn KD Box 2s to compare one, just one KA3. So again, you would need 33 KD Box 2s, which haven't even been released yet, to get the same terahash as one KA3, not including the monumental jump in power because of the efficiency. So out of curiosity, let's do that. Let's times the 33.2 times the 400 watts. <laughs> it would, again, crazy, crazy jump in efficiency. Okay, you would need 13,000 watts to be on the equivalent level as that KA3. So again, guys, overall, another disappointing release from Gold Shell. But like we've mentioned in the past, they are going to be trying to release everything they had in the pipeline as quick as possible. Especially with this delay, this is good news for them because they are going to be offloading stuff. So expect more news to come out. Um, I'm assuming we're going to see more of these boxes. We'll see that Mini Doge 2 come out pretty soon, I'm sure. Possibly a handshake or see a coin. I'm sure, we'll see more. What I'm most curious about is what their answer is going to be as far as the bigger miners go, right? This is the little guy, but getting this insight right now, currently, not looking too great, right? A 10% efficiency bump is nothing compared to what the KA3 is going to going to bring. Okay, so guys, again, please, please keep this in mind. Please do your research. Look into it. Don't be one of these guys who are like buying these freaking CK Box 2s that are selling out when we know that they're already unprofitable. And even if they are slightly profitable here in the next few months when these other miners drop, we know they're not going to be profitable, guys. Don't waste your money on these things. It's super outdated already. Okay? If you're interested in the project, buy the coin. Okay? Again, please do your research. Don't just take my word for it. Punch in the numbers yourself. That's a big part of the channel. You know, I want to show you these calculations, show you how we come to these conclusions, right? That way you can do it yourself as well. That way you're more educated, right? The more you know, the better off you are, okay? So again, just wanted to give you that quick little insight, guys. Again, we probably should be saying the official debut, some release dates, some prices here. Probably in the next few days, I'm assuming Gold Shell is waiting for their little sale to end. I know they're doing something where you buy, they had this like combo CK box for two of them. So I'm sure once that sale's over, they're going to release this and it'll go on some kind of promotion. I'm assuming my personal guess is the price point is going to be in this range, right? Because for them to price it at, it's not going to be at no $15.99. And if it is, it's not going to sell a damn thing. So don't man to that. I would think it's going to be under 300 bucks, most likely. Um, but again, guys, do the calculations. See if it makes sense. To me, it does not. But again, it's all on you. It's all on your choice, what you do. But be warned. All right, guys. So hopefully you got some value from the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. If you're thinking about getting one, put it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And again, thank you for watching, guys, and I am out.